We would like to thank those of you who declined the invitation to the royal wedding of Prince Harry and <laughs> Meghan Markle in London today so you could be with us here tonight. We applaud your sense of priorities. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Do we have some folks who are glad to be here tonight? <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Let me ask you something. Was the tassel worth the hassle? As our friend Aristotle said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Tonight, we enjoy the sweet fruit. I'm Dr. Glenn Carrillo, a faculty member here at ECPI University. And on behalf of the administration, staff, faculty, and our students, of course, it is my great honor to welcome you to commencement for the class of 2018. We are here to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. And tonight, we are privileged to have with us Mr. Alfred Dreyfus, the founder of ECPI University. He is in our audience. Mr. Dreyfus, thank you. Before we get underway, candidates, I am looking behind you at all the wonderful people who supported you for the last several years in so many ways. Let's give them a grateful round of applause. You can't imagine how proud these people are of you, and many of them experiencing quite a sense of relief. In a few minutes, you will receive your diplomas. In fact, it may be the first time the school gave you something you actually wanted to read. <laughs> As you travel the path before you, if your life ever stops working for you, just do what you learned in class. Unplug it, wait 60 seconds, plug it back in, you'll be fine. <laughs> Commencement, by definition, means a beginning, not an end. And in that spirit, we hope that today marks the new beginning of lifelong learning for our student graduates. And it is an accomplishment worthy of note. For many of you have taken stumbling blocks and turned them into stepping stones. And for that, we salute you. Now remember, you can't make it to the top by sitting on your bottom. In today's world, you must be proactive. And now, with your new skill set, you are perfectly positioned to do exactly that. Also, keep in mind the words of Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Behind you are all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you, within you, all you will need. But make note, dreams do not work unless you do. Today we are awarding degrees from the College of Technology in Computer Information Science, Electronic Engineering Technology, the College of Business and Criminal Justice, and the College of Health Sciences Medical Careers Institute. Oh, that's good. I didn't leave anybody out, right? <laughs> good. A few notes on the graduation regalia. The gowns being worn by both the faculty and the students originated in the 12th century by the first institutions of learning, the church, and they were worn to class daily. Today, the robes and the hoods tell the students' academic story by college and degree. 
Students with gold tassels on their graduation caps are honor students. Each one, yes, they deserve it. Each one has a grade point average of 3.7 or higher. You bet. And that's out of a 4.0. Tough. Those with a gold stole or sash are members of the Golden Key International Honor Society. And students wearing the white sash or tassel are members of the National Technical Honor Society. Those with the red, white, and blue cords are active duty military or veterans. And to those men and women, we say thank you for your service. We start off tonight with the invocation from our Vice President of Finance, Mr. Greg Casey. Please bow your heads. We have come together tonight to celebrate the accomplishments and hard work of the graduating class of 2018. Graduates, be thankful for the support you have received from your family, your friends, your teachers, and your fellow students. May you always remember the dream that inspired you to further your education, and remember to always be kind to one another. We ask for God's blessings on you and your families. We give special thanks to those men and women graduating tonight that bravely served in our military, both at home and abroad, protecting each and every one of us. May all of you continue to seek out ways that will allow you to contribute to society, both in your work community and the community where you live. Amen. If you saw the Virginia Beach Beacon this week, or the digital Virginia Beach Today, you saw an article on Zachariah Allison. Zach is one of our graduates who had a story that many students can relate to. He knew he could do the job. In fact, he had done it. But he was not recognized for his skill. He will fill us in on how that story ends up very happily. Please welcome Zachariah Allison. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you administrators, faculties, family, and fellow students for being here to celebrate this monumental occasion. Over the past two weeks, I have run this speech through my head on what I can tell such a diverse group of people to inspire, guide, or just enlighten those who are here with us today. To be honest, this is a pretty tall order. So I'll do my best and I will begin with this. Become fans of Lord of the Rings. That's a fantasy novel about a journey written by English author and scholar J.R.R. Tolkien. You have just made it through Rivendell, ECPI, and Elven City, where knowledge is held at the highest regards and the start of a true adventure. Now, if you have watched the extended versions, as I have with my family many times, you have made your fellowship with, one, with the run, One Ring with ECPI faculty and fellow graduates to carry the knowledge that you have learned and the one ring through life as you are now Frodo, one of the hobbits passing through the gates of Rivendell, saying, which way do I go? Though I tend to act and look more like a dwarf than a hobbit, my story was more like Frodo's and the main character of the adventure. I was comfortable in my shire the Hobbit equivalent of Hampton Roads, providing what my family and I needed. I was comfortable in my job after getting out of the Navy, but like Frodo, there was something pulling at me to do better. 
You see, I worked for a company and I was able to find all of the answers, even for those who have degrees, and yet when yearly evaluations came around, I was passed over in the advancement because I didn't have a degree. So Gandalf, a wise wizard, came to me in the form of a past coworker. He had been going to ECPI to get his degree and start his adventure. As Frodo, I wanted that. I wanted to join an adventure for my own, so I went to Rivendell, ECPI if you will, and created my own Fellowship of the Ring. Since completing my bachelor's classes at ECPI, I have accomplished a lot. I am now a lead network engineer and more comfortable than I was before. In fact, I am now working on my master's degree at ECPI. <laughs> my fellowship has given me access to a club that competes in white hat, white hat hacker competitions. I try to help further others' knowledge as well as my own, and most importantly, given my friendship that allows me to be as dwarvish as I want. Like any adventure, there are bleak points. Job offers not coming in as quickly as you would hope. Long days after you're uh, away from your family. Pressing items due by the end of the week. However, we have been equipped with the tools to complete with, uh, uh, my apologies, to complete what we set out to do. We've already learned this at a highly accelerated pace. I will say this though, I would not have ever started this adventure if it were not for the support of my wife, Jen, and my daughters, Sarah and Sophia. I missed times when I could be at home handling things around the house and tucking the kids into bed at night. They dealt with not seeing me four days straight a week and, with, uh, and then continued while I was doing my homework. My wife handled the house, kids' homework, dinner, and those moments when the kids would ask, when would daddy be home? Without them, I would not be the forward running dwarf that you see here now. So I will leave you with this. Not all those who wander are lost. It is not the strength of the body, but the strength of the spirit. And the adventure is only just beginning. Don't forget to carry a map. Thank you, I wish you best for, on your, all your adventures. You did fine. You did fine. Zach, on behalf of the university, we'd like to present you with a small token of our appreciation for your body of work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. There you go. Beverly McCorkle is a practical nursing student whose guiding philosophy is to treat the whole patient, not just performing a task. In other words, holistic nursing. Her instructors call her a team player who is always willing to assist her peers. Please welcome Beverly McCorkle. Glad I didn't fall. <laughs> Good evening, honored guests, family, friends, faculty, staff, and the graduating class of 2018. I feel so honored and privileged to be standing before you today, speaking on behalf of the MCI LPN class of 2018. <laughs> as far back as I can remember, I've desired to help people, to see people healed, and to touch lives. What inspired me to become a nurse was witnessing the care that my mother gave to her patients when she was a nurse. She treated every person as if they were family. She saw the person as a whole. Nursing is compassion, kindness, and knowledge. In my program, I have gained the knowledge enabling me to care for both the physical and emotional needs of my patients. As I reflect on my nursing career, nursing school career, excuse me. The first thing I realized is that I found the unexpected here. When I started this journey, if you asked me what I thought I would get out of nursing school, 
I would have said that I can expect to find myself changed as a result of amazing clinical experiences and memorable patients, and I have definitely experienced this. However, now at the end of my part of my journey, excuse me, it is the relationships with my classmates and instructors that have most deeply affected me. I'm realizing that the totality of nursing school has been an unexpected experience. We have been given an immense amount of information, procedures, and tasks. We have studied, memorized, and integrated, and implemented, and together we have succeeded. This program was fast-paced and rigorous at times, but the faculty have laid the foundation from which we emerge as knowledgeable and skillful nurses. During my time at ECPI, I have, was blessed to be an with an amazing team of instructors and faculty that both empowered and inspired me. Instructors such as Ms. Maria Montgomery once said, my belief in you is stronger than the doubt that you have in yourself. And that stuck with me. <laughs> Instructors like her and Ms. McDuffie, Ms. Thorpe, Ms. Darling Young, Ms. Hicks, and Ms. Diaz had challenged me, inspired and charged me with the task of being the best nurse that I can possibly be. The charge to not to just be a tasker, but to critically think and take the best action for the patient and to always be a life learner. My time at ECPI has also taught me that nursing life is dynamic and ever-changing, and change is inevitable. As we stand on the brink of moving into life beyond ECPI, change will be inevitable. It is indeed gratifying to see our graduating class of 2018 matured and become skilled, proficient, and ready to touch lives. It is inevitable that structures, processes, and even relationships will change in our day-to-day -day lives. It is inevitable that we will face new challenges, and it is inevitable that things may seem a bit different in the year ahead. As we look back today on our journey, a journey that started with hesitance and tentative steps. We see just how far we've come. It has been my honor and my privilege being on this journey with you. In closing, let's take a lesson that we've learned from each other, our faculty and life itself, and transfer them to our patients that we will serve and care for. We will not have all the solutions but we can offer ourselves. And through relationships we have created and the knowledge we've gained, we have the power to effect and enhance lives. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Be better, be great. Thank you. God bless you all. Beverly, please accept this acknowledgement of your accomplishment from the university. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. Now please welcome to the lectern the president of ECPI University, Mr. Mark Dreyfus. Good evening. Welcome, Congressman Garrett, the class of 2018, graduate and graduate candidates, their families, and distinguished guests. This ceremony marks our 52nd year celebrating the success of our students. Um, yeah, you can clap. That's okay. <laughs> um, I particularly want to shout out to a couple students that really traveled far to be here with us tonight. Um, some of our students that took our online courses. Uh, we had a student from Cal, we have a student from California, Travis Lassane, if he's here somewhere. There he is. Uh, we have a, a graduate, sorry, graduate uh, from Kansas, Floyd Knoll. Is Floyd here? Okay, there's Floyd. Uh, candidate 
from Pennsylvania, Francis Sweeney. Where's Francis? She's here. Oh, there. Uh, from Wisconsin, Benjamin Young. From Texas, Bo Mulua. And two, two graduates from Florida, Leroy Harrison and Shallow Bryant. So, you know, we are particularly proud of our graduates and how they impact, uh, and the impact they make on their communities. And for more than 15 years, we have been nationally ranked for the number of graduates from our programs. Just to give you some statistics, um, we are fifth in the United States in the total number of computer science degrees awarded and number one in Virginia. We are third in the United States in the total number of computer science degrees awarded to African Americans and number one in Virginia. We are sixth in the total number of computer science degrees awarded to females in the United States. And number one in Virginia. We're, we're fourth in the country in the total number of degrees awarded in computer science, engineering, and engineering technologies to African Americans. And we're sixth in the U.S. in the total number of associate degree grads in health professions and related clinical sciences. So you can see that our graduates are pretty special. I know most of you are excited to be here and probably not going to remember most of what I say tonight, and that's okay. Um, but please remember the important people who are here with you today. They're really important in our lives. I also want to thank our faculty for all the effort that they did uh, to help you on your journey. I know sometimes you, you may not realize it, but uh, they worry a lot about your success. And for many of you, I, I'm sure you know of some times when a faculty member did what they could to make you pass that course or learn that skill. <laughs> right. Uh, I also want to give a special thanks to our veterans uh, and those that are serving the armed forces. Um, you may not know this. I, I know we've, we've said it already a couple times tonight, but you may not know this, but uh, our founder, Alfred Dreyfus, uh, would not be here today if it was not for the courage of the men who bravely landed on the beaches of Normandy in World War II. And his journey in America for a second chance is due to those who served and sacrificed for our freedom. And we must never forget to thank those who keep us free. So thank you. So here you are, poised for a new chapter in your life. Your career is in front of you, and you're anxious to pursue your dreams. You'll be making some decisions about your direction but you've already shown some good judgment. Your decision to attend school, pursue a degree with skills, and finish was a good one. But we make many choices in our lives, and then some of them are good, and some of them not so good. Um, no individual decision will irreparably harm us, but our mistakes are those that make us what we are. And I surely, have made my share of mistakes, and as a result, I've missed some opportunities. Um, however, I've tried to translate those lessons into a positive outlook. Don't let your mistakes get you down, nor slow you down. Learn from bad decisions and try not to repeat them. Repair the damage that you've made from mistakes quickly if they're with family or friends, or you may not have that chance again. But it's never a mistake to work a little hard, harder or help a friend or family member. If an opportunity sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Be careful with your finances and live within your means. Although you may have strains on your resources, you won't regret trying to save a little each week. What I have learned is that the harder you work and focus, the luckier you get. Create goals and stick to your plan and don't get impatient with where you are or what you're doing. 
Enjoy the journey and you will get your chance. Never lose your passion nor your dream. There are several tools that, that can make your goals nearer and clearer. One, positive attitude. I mean, you've got to think success and not failure. And beware of a negative environment. Decide upon your true dreams and goals. Write some of those goals down. And you have to take action. You know, goals are nothing without action. Don't be afraid to get started. Never stop learning. If your employer offers you some, some skills or some schooling, take it. It'll always help you. And be prepared to start at the bottom. You know, learn whatever you can from those with years of experience, and you'll eventually get your chance. Be persistent and work hard. You have to have enthusiasm and passion. Success is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, teamwork is key. You're going to work with some people that you don't like. Get over it. <laughs> Treat them with respect. Respect and communicate with people. That's how we move forward. Focus your time and money, and don't let other people distract you. And don't be afraid to be different. You know, following the herd is a sure way to mediocrity. And be honest and dependable, and certainly, certainly your integrity is very valuable. Take responsibility for your actions, otherwise all the rest is immaterial. And lastly, make time for yourself, because it's important to relax and recharge your batteries time and again. So thank you, and good luck to all of you. On behalf of ECPI University's graduating students and their families and friends, and along with our faculty and administration, I'm very pleased to welcome our 2018 commencement keynote speaker, speaker, Congressman Tom Garrett. Congressman Garrett has committed his life to public service. First, as an undergraduate at the University of Richmond, he was in the Army ROTC, and upon graduating, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army and served on active duty as an artillery officer. He went on to lead overseas as a brigade, brigade operations officer in Operation Joint Guard and Joint Endeavor. He entered public service as a civilian in 2007 when he was elected to the office of the Commonwealth's attorney in Louisa County. In 2011, he ran for Virginia State Senate where he served until 2017. Congressman Garrett was elected to the 115th Congress to represent Virginia's 5th District in 2016. He currently serves on the House Committees on Homeland Security, Foreign Affairs, Education, and the Workforce, where he sits on the Subcommittee on Higher Education and Workforce Development, and has become known for his innovative proposals to help college students succeed. He was also appointed to serve on a highly selective classified task force for the Committee on Homeland Security. Congressman Garrett, we thank you for your service to our nation and the great state of Virginia and for your commitment to higher education. Please join me in welcoming Congressman Tom Garrett. I always like when, um, when people clap before I talk, because that way if I stink, I've already gotten out of the way in advance. Um, <laughs> I, and I like when people introduce me because when I'm listening to them, I'm like, that guy sounds squared away. Um, but what I know is the same thing that everybody in this room knows, and that is that I'm not nearly where I want to be. And that's okay. They told me that you guys learned in five-week blocks uh, at five hours at a time, and so they said, make sure you keep your comments under five hours so, because <laughs> it's a joke. And this is where the serious portion of my um, comments begins. I have gotten to do some pretty neat stuff in my life. I've got three daughters who I love, an amazing wife. I've, I've gotten to pull political prisoners out of prisons in, 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 in Africa and bring refugees to the United States of America. I've been the fat, balding white guy that gave a hug to the people at the International Rivals Gate at Dulles Airport who didn't know who I was. <laughs> um, but it's really, it's right up there at the top, speaking to you guys. And that's because uh, this country is built on 
millions and millions and millions of people like you, like me, like us. And most of them, you'll never, ever, ever know their name. And this country is darn sure not perfect. I, I paraphrase Winston Churchill. This is the second Churchill quote of the night when I say this is the worst country in the world except for all the others. It's a country that was founded on a perfect idea that all people were equal by imperfect people who owned slaves. But the American, but the American Revolution that started when land-owning white males cast off a crown from across an ocean hasn't stopped yet. It's going on right here. So I invite you to join in that. And here's what I mean. We gave our birth certificate to the world in the form of a declaration written by imperfect people that said that all people were created equal. We went 85 years and cost a million lives. That means that you could fit everybody in this room about 4,000 times just to get to that number in combat, Dad, you men and women who served, God bless you and people who starved and died of disease just to rid this country of the evil institution, the horrific ill that was slavery. Then we went 55 more years before we moved a little bit closer to that more perfect union that they talked about, right? Because more perfect means there's work to be done. They didn't give us a perfect union and gave the right to vote to 51% of the population. Then we went 35 more years until a 16-year-old girl in Prince Edward County, Virginia, had the temerity, the courage, but the guts to stand up and say separate but equal is a lie and lead a walkout from a high school because she wasn't allowed to attend another high school because of what she looked like. Do you know her name? And so great, great, great people have done great, great, great things so we can be a little bit better, but we're not there yet, but you guys are here. And what does that mean? I am in awe of the amazing and yet still undefined quantity of good that sits in this room today. You have, in my opinion, Two fundamental entitlements as Americans, two fundamental rights that you should expect. You should demand and expect an opportunity. It is our duty to try to make it equal. But if your last name's Trump or Clinton or Bush or Obama, you got a better chance of getting into Harvard. But you are entitled by God to an opportunity. And you have the right as an American to define success for yourself so long as that which you endeavor to do does not harm others so that when the clock of our lives stops, and in my worldview, you're called before your creator and asked, what did you do with the time that you had? You can say, the world is a better place because I was in it. What does that mean? Do you have to cure cancer? That'd be awesome. But I'll tell you what, you could be a wonderful stay-at-home dad. You can be an amazing teacher. It's neat to talk to nurses because the opportunities that you have to touch people's lives, not just your patients, but the family of your patients when they are at a horrible time about to lose someone that they love, the opportunity that you have to change lives by one scintilla is limitless. Somebody quipped at the beginning, and I apologize for saying somebody, that, 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 that he thanked everyone who, who, who chose to be here as opposed to at the wedding of Prince Harry. Well, I have no disdain for Prince Harry. We're going to talk about anger in a second. But I will tell you, I would rather be here with you. He slipped from the womb, Prince Harry. Every one of you worked to be here. You made decisions to be here. And so the time that we have on earth is fleeting. It is slight. You will at one point today, I hope, throw your caps in the air. And if you look at the duration of human history, the amount of time that each one of us will be here is about equivalent to the amount of time your cap will fly through the air and come back down in the duration of this whole ceremony. So I get frustrated. I'm going to digress for a moment because I'm ADHD. When people tell me I can't afford school, let me tell you what. If you know what you want to do in life and it requires school, you can't afford not school. You, <laughs> because... Because there is no reset button on life. It, do, it doesn't exist. And so this is your time and this is your life. Find your passion and hold on to it. Because if you do, the world will be a better place. And so success might be curing cancer. It might be being that great stay-at-home dad. And, and, and again, I know I'm speaking to a group of young professionals. Some of you not so young. I can't talk. <laughs> But you know what? The man that works at the corner store and has good, have, says, have a good evening, Mr. Smith, every night. Maybe one night Mr. Smith's having a bad night, and because somebody said have a good evening, he doesn't go home and slap his child or take a drink or take a pill. That person changed the world. That person changed the world. 
So the difference, and, and all of you are learners, but, but, but my charge to you is be thinkers. The difference between a learner and a thinker, a learner says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or two plus two is four. A thinker says why, how, what, who. Ask that second question. And so let me start giving you some questions. This is what I say when I speak to people like yourselves. What in this, pardon me, there's, hyper, there's hyperbole here. What's your master plan for world domination? <laughs> that guy's scary, what's he talking about? What that really means is, what that really means is, what do you want to do? If what you want to do will make the world better for people around you or one person, by God, do it. What is success? Success is defined by you. Did the world become a slight bit better because you were here? I have no illusions that anybody other than my grandkids and nerds will know who the heck Tom Garrett is five years after I'm dead. That's okay. What did I do while I was here? What is failure? That's easy. Failure is when you stop trying. Failure is when you stop trying. I, I wrote some stuff down. There was a guy from Illinois. He lost his first job. He failed in his first business. He lost half a dozen elections. And then he was elected president and Abraham Lincoln ended slavery. Was he a failure? Because he, oh, he lost six elections, lost a job and failed in business? There was a fellow from Austria who couldn't speak well until he was nine years old. He got kicked out of school for being a discipline problem and couldn't get into the Technical Institute in Zurich, Switzerland, and then Einstein developed the theory of relativity. My father was a realtor. He died December 13, 2011. He's the greatest hero I've ever had. Sometimes not because he was nice to me, because he wasn't, because he demanded that I get off my rear end and go do something. But when he died, a real estate agent, not a town counselor or anything like that, in Louisa County, Virginia, in the town of Louisa, you couldn't find a parking spot in six, six blocks in any direction. Because he treated people like they wanted, he'd want to be treated if the roles were reversed. I know my dad changed the world. I was looking at his high school diploma the other day in the basement. It said August 23rd. 1966 because he failed out and had to finish in summer school and I know my dad was a success if anybody told me they were he was a failure I would disagree so it ain't where you start it's where you finish and always ask yourself who is the me that I want to be because the you that you are is not where you're going right I mean when you get where you're going God's done with you you're probably close to the end but the reason that that question is so important is if you have a heart and a soul, if you have a conscience and values, and you understand that every person here is a person just like you, no matter who they love or how they worship or what they look like, if you know these things and you say, what would the me that I want to be do? You can come up with the right answer. Not what do I want to do, because sometimes what I want to do isn't right. What would the me that I want to be do? Always remember that one. And then these three things. Number one, never ever drive your car looking in the rearview mirror or else one day you'll run into a tree, right? I mean, look forward, not back. We are not defined by what has happened to us. We are defined by what we do about it, right? So number two is, and I just sort of gave a clue, a hint, your character is not defined by what happens to you. Your character is defined by how you respond to what happens to you. Right now, there are people in this room who don't know one of their parents. There are people in this room who have lost a parent to cancer or some scourge. There are people in this room who've lost a husband or a wife. There are people in this room who've lost a child. I can't even imagine. And this is unjustified and unfair. However, comma, what are you going to do next? That's what defines you. Your character is defined not by what happens to you, but how you respond to it. And finally, back around. This world should be fair, but it isn't. It's the responsibility of people to try to make it fair. We should never quit. But don't be angry. Hatred and fear and anger are your enemies. They will prevent you from being as good as you can be. Half the world is too busy being angry to be productive, and the other half is too busy being productive to be angry. Which half do you want to be? Right? It's your time. So they, in the introduction, said nice things about me. I'm a guy, just like a lot of y'all are, you know. Um, but what I do hope is that everybody in this world will try to identify where their heart is, what good they can do, and then try to do it. And so the reason that I've kind of taken on a passion for education is because I look around and I see things that are broken and busted and wrong, and I think, what can we do? It's asking those questions, right? What can we do? 
And I have determined, at least again in my opinion, that one of the greatest injustices in America today is the time spent telling people what they cannot do instead of encouraging them to do what they can. So, so you know, I was in the Army, so I know the Army teaching style is tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them what you tell them, then tell them what you told them. I'll close with this. You might have heard it before. This is your time. This is your life. Find your passion and hold on to it forever. And for these things, the world will be a better place. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Congressman. Good direction. We have a few awards to hand out here, and we're going to start off with ECPI Attendance Awards. Now, this is perfect attendance. Now, you may be saying, why do they give attendance awards? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? Show up so they can learn, right? Let me tell you how difficult perfect attendance is. Life interferes with our best laid plans, family, work, emergencies. Less than 2% of our students achieve perfect attendance. We have a few. We're going to ask them to come up on stage, and I'm going to ask you to hold your applause until I've read all their names. Mary Connell, Rafael de la Cruz Alvarez, Craig Derenbacher, Robin Dowdy, Benjamin Lehman, Reginald Ralph, Adi Tunji Sojuri, Louis Vegas Figueroa, and James Wallace. Please come up on the stage and be recognized. Perfect attendance. Congratulations. <laughs> Take your pictures and then head out, guys. <laughs> that way. Just follow the crowd. It is now my pleasure to present Student Fellowship Awards. Now, these awards are presented to the student in each program who consistently demonstrated the characteristics most essential to successful student relationships and for rendering outstanding assistance to fellow students. Once again, I'll read the names, ask them to come up on stage, and if you will hold your applause, please. Janice Chandler, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Tanya Honora Whitaker, Business Administration with a concentration in Business Management. Hillary Smith, Electronics Engineering Technology with a concentration in Mechatronics. Caitlin Wall, BS in Mechanical Engineering Technology. Jefferson Youngblood, BS in Commuter Computer and Information Science, Cyber and Network Security, and Rafael de la Cruz Alvarez, a Master's in Cyber Security.
You're looking at future leaders right here. Congratulations. Now, we also have an online campus, and I am going to present now the online campus awards. These are for students in outstanding performance. They consistently demonstrated academic distinction, commitment to education, and professional excellence. One more time, let's bring them up on stage and then applaud Amber Blondino. Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Robert Connolly, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Bradley Furr, Master of Business Administration, Clifton Golby, Bachelor of Science in Computer and Information Science, and Francis Sweeney, Bachelor of Science in Electronic Engineering Technology. Outstanding performance. And now awards for Medical Careers Institute. Some of their students also had perfect attendance. Anthony Bonowit, Boaz Butcher, Karen Edenall, and Julia Rodriguez, please come up on stage. Congratulations, folks. And it's now my pleasure to present the Student Fellowship Awards from MCI. These, again, are students who present in each program characteristics that are most essential to student relationships, success, and for rendering outstanding assistance to fellow students. Please come up on stage. Royce Harris, AAS in Dental Assisting. Michael McLeod, BS in Registered Nursing. Beverly McCorkle, Practical Nursing Diploma Program. Brian Ortiz, BS, Healthcare Administration, Acute Care. And Ashlyn Shedd, AAS in Medical Assisting. Please come up and be recognized. Congratulations, folks. Now, isn't this what you came for? The presentation of degrees and diplomas. We start off with the College of Technology.
Business Management, Tanya Honoré Whitaker. Accounting, Robin Dowdy, Summa Cum Laude. Kriska Corey, Cum Laude. Donna Corey, Cum Laude. Asia Andretti. Business Management, Devin Andretti. Jermise Lachey, Breckerich. Edwin Cardi. Christian Garcia. Wendell House. Garrett Owens, Felicia Phillips, Henry Pierce, Georgia Stewart, Emily Taylor, Keon Thornton, Keon Thornton. Mark Tony, Galen Washington, Willie Hawkins, IT Management, Summa Cum Laude, IT Management, Ariel Smart, Cum Laude. Victor Smith. Oh my gosh. Courtney Stevens. Hey, how you doing? Adriana Williamson. <laughs> Jessica Blakely. Amen. David Dews. Santana Eccles. Santana Eccles. Reginald Farr, James Wallace, Janice Chandler, Katina Jones, Criminal Justice, Debbie Levitt. Daniel Rhodes, Joseph Rodriguez, Christopher Carrillo, Jonathan Poole, Homeland Security, Cum Laude, Maria Shader, Summa Cum Laude. Amanda Triplett. Amen. Ernest Grisby, Engineering Technology. Lloyd Jones. Aaron Volunta. Jacquard Wilson. Adrian Blunt, Engineering Technology, with a concentration in mechatronics, Stephen Jones. Engineering Technology, John Brown. Daryl Bush, Jr. Jesse Butler, magna cum laude. Brian Jefferson. Richard Mason. 
Richard Macy. <laughs> Ashley Todd. Hey, man, how you doing? Ryan Walsh. Ryan Walsh. Hey, how you doing, sir? Kaya. Kaya Winley. William Ariza, Mechatronics, Eric Ayala, Dakota Brown, Cum Laude, Richard Calcho. Eric Chamberlain, How you doing, man? Vincent. Vincent Clark, How you doing, man? Christian. Christian Creighton, Ian Gibson, Cum Laude, Christopher Hicks, Hillary Smith. Bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering technology, Caitlin Wall, summa cum laude. Engineering technology with a concentration in mechatronics, JaVale Jenkins. James Morgan, cum laude. Marcus Morris. David Peoples Pruitt. Let's see. Jose Polonia. Wait a minute. Douglas Pitts, cum laude. James Reed. Stanton Stevens. Samuel Walker. Associate degree in mechanical engineering technology, Christopher Maynard. Mm -mm. Luis Matos. Bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering technology, Jason Brader. Christopher Bush, Scott Cust, Samuel Donald, Richard Etter, Summa Cum Laude, Dana Martin. Christopher Offer. Latanya Latoya Sutler. Sean Tan, magna cum laude. Brandon Tucker. Eduardo Vidal. Magna Cum Laude. Brandon Workman, Summa Cum Laude. With an associate degree in computer information systems with a concentration in cyber and network security, Ronald Allman. With an associate degree in computer and information systems with concentration in cyber and network security, Precious Butts. <laughs> Maria Kraft. Christopher Curran. 
Noel Enriquez, magna cum laude. Marcus Galloway. Brandon Gillis. James Gorham. Danielle Graham. Stephanie Harewood. Charlania Heyman. Trenton Johnson. Malela Little. Tony McQueen. Christian Miller, cum laude. Hiran Patel. Joshua Phillips. Alexandria Reife. Terrence Simmons. Corey Wells, cum laude. Cornelius Wheaton. Ernest White. Daniel Diaz. Nico Marcano. Oh, I'm sorry, with an associate degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in software development. Nico. With an associate degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in database programming. Kavion Windley. With a bachelor's degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in cyber and network security. Jacob Andros, summa cum laude. Fredney Arvello, cum laude. Vanessa Baird. I'm sorry, these are bachelor's degree in computer and information systems with cyber network security. Bruce Boltman. Zachariah Allison, cum laude. Elenia Carlson. Mark Carrier. Adam Cooper, magna cum laude. Daquan Davis. Rashad Dennis. William Everhart. Jordan Ferguson. Woo! Seth French Dubois. <laughs> Michael Jones. <laughs> Dennis Carrico. <laughs> William Laprade. Stephen Michaels. Is it Moise? Moise. Moise. Michael Moise. Negron. Louis Negron. Ryan O'Neill. Lamerle Owens, magna cum laude. David Palacios. Son Fu, cum laude. 
Larry Raines. With an associate degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in cyber network security, Shamika Brown. With a bachelor's degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in cyber network security, Mary Canal, summa cum laude. Adetenji Sujoy, magna cum laude. I knew I was going to mess that one up. Jefferson Youngblood, cum laude. Kenneth Ramirez, magna cum laude. Ryan Reagan. Julian Solis. Robert Sanchez. Derek Sly. Farah Solon Ramsey. Ramsey. Shaquita Sparks. Avery Taylor. Is it Weaver? Marcus Weaver. With a bachelor's degree in computer and information systems with a concentration in software development, Christopher Allen. Eric Barker. Elliot Britton. <laughs> Verenia Cromwell. Michael Friend Francois. Patrick. Garduno, cum laude. Joshua Griffin Dorsey. Matthew Hom. Daniel Hamar, summa cum laude. Kenneth Hansen. Cynthia Holtman, summa cum laude. Michael Cornelia, magna cum laude. Douglas McLeod. Christopher Kayshot. Renalia Shook. Frank Van Sant, summa cum laude. Brenton Ward. Joseph Ward, summa cum laude. Alexander Williams. With a master's degree in cybersecurity, Rafael De La Cruz Alvarez. Craig Derenbacher. Benjamin Lehman. Luis Vegas Figueroa. Figaro. Reginald Ralph. Thank God. John Brown. Justin Brown. 
Brittany Love. Is it Marcia? Marcia Namor. Gregory Patterson. Robert Seeloff. Wandell. Michael Wandell. Navia Akrathi with a master's degree in information systems. Again, with a master's degree in information systems. Um, Pruwi Shanda. Navina Kashna Kaparupu. <laughs> Thomas Mulkeen. <laughs> Hari Krishna Rapal Rala Pali. <laughs> David Wills. Now announcing the 2018 graduates of the online campus. With a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in Accounting, Samantha Bridges, summa cum laude. Ashley Castillo. Jonisa Seha. Diana Dalton. <laughs> Royal Gethers. <laughs> Tamara Hughes. Courtney Manzi. Maria Munive. With a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in Business Management, Evans Barrett. Juan Berrios, summa cum laude. Daniel Bula, summa cum laude. Lauren Claudfelter. Lindsay Cunningham, cum laude. Michael Fletcher, magna cum laude. Nicolette Golesh, summa cum laude. Cody Graves. Stephanie Heiser. Travis Lassane. Quanisha Martin. Thank you. Sonia Miller Ray. Thank you. Amy Pickett. Atima Ratliff. Rosa Stout. Stephen Veneri. Selena Winfield. With a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in Hospitality Management, Angelina Hernandez, magna cum laude. With a bachelor degree in criminal justice with a concentration in homeland security, Lloyd Goff. Hi. 
Kelly Heath. Laron Johnson. Blake Mueller. Thank you. With a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in Hospitality Management, Sheila Kent. James McRae the third. With a bachelor degree in criminal justice with a concentration in homeland security, Nikita Owens. With a bachelor of science in business administration with a concentration in IT management, Roy Craven, summa cum laude. Christian Lewis, magna cum laude. Darren Rulak. David Squirewell, cum laude. With a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Kenneth Blake. Briante Bond. Adrian? Adrian Coe. Thank you. Robert Conley, summa cum laude. Courtney Cook. Lakira, Lakira Stovall. Hi. Talisha Velasquez. Hi. With a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice with a concentration in Homeland Security, Nora Benton. Hamayan? Hamayan Mirza. With an Associate of Science in Electronics Engineering Technology, Aaron Geister. Damian Wilburn. Thank you. With a Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering Technology, Anthony Algorin. William Morris, cum laude. Paloma da Silva Pagana Rodriguez with a Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering Technology. Emmett Sills. Melissa Yost. With a Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering Technology with a concentration in Mechatronics, Wade Brightwell. Jennifer Johns, magna cum laude. Latanya Johnson. Ernest Owens. Efron Puerta. Francis Sweeney, summa cum laude. with an Associate of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in Cyber and Network Security, Stephen Bricker. Hey man. Congrats. Perry Edgel, summa cum laude. Michael Lambert, cum laude. Lars Thompson. With an Associate of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in Database Programming, Heather Leeser. With an Associate of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in Network Security, Winston Escalante, magna cum laude. Emily Converse. Brian Grimes, cum laude. Frederick Howe. Noel? Noel. Noel. 
Floyd Knoll, summa cum laude. With a Bachelor of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in cloud computing, Montel Thompson. Thank you. With a Bachelor of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in cyber and network security, Pratik Dave Cum Laude. Bradford Ford. Lena Fuller. Robert Hunt, summa cum laude. Bo Malua, summa cum laude. Thank you. Joseph Sokol. Thank you. Amanda Stanley. Hey, congrats. Christopher Williams. Benjamin Young. Thanks, congrats. With a Bachelor of Science in Computer and Information Science with a concentration in database programming, Clifton Golby, summa cum laude. With a Master of Business Administration with a concentration in business management, Jocelyn Asensio. Thanks. Kevin Barrett. Crystal Benton. Thank you, congrats. Jody Ann Campbell Norwood. Congratulations. Deidre Fraser. Thanks, congrats. Bradley Fur. Hey, congrats. Yeah. Susan King. Hey, congrats. Amber Russell. Diana Watson Hall. With a Master of Science in Cybersecurity with a concentration in Cyber Operations, Shamika Bowles. <laughs> Michael Fisher. John Forrester. Joshua Iams. Deborah Jones. Darnita McGraw. Anthony Oliver. Stanley Smith. With a Master of Science in Cybersecurity with a concentration in Security Policy, Juan Perez Perez. With a Master of Science in Information Systems, Wyatt Brinkley. With a Bachelor of Science in Health Science with a concentration in Healthcare Administration Acute Care, Janithia Boyd, summa cum laude. Jamilia? Jamilia Cunningham. <laughs> Heidi Dreyer, magna cum laude. Ashley Green, summa cum laude. Shanika Jefferson. Sashay Johnson. Tanisha McRae. Katrina Quinata. Shanice Ragland. Shanika Ross. Shaquana Roy. Tierra Struther, cum laude. Amanda Thompson. Congratulations. 
Rachel Waters. Samantha Weaver. Dana Williams, summa cum laude. Shauna Winfield. With a Bachelor of Science in Health Science with a concentration in nursing, Angela Fleetwood, cum laude. Camelia Kelly. Joan Kerithi. Brianna Kratz. Laura Pendleton, cum laude. Cheryl Pendleton, cum laude. Emily Varner. John Washington. Shanice Wilson, summa cum laude. With a Bachelor of Science in Health Science with a concentration in Radiologic Science, Amber Blondino, summa cum laude. April Gates, magna cum laude. Heidi Mendoza, summa cum laude. With a Master of Science in Nursing with a concentration in Health Science Leadership, Lashundra Marks. And now announcing 2018 MCI graduates. Associate's degree in dental assisting, Eden Achime. Sadia Briggs. Shelby Byram, summa cum laude. Tiffany Cozart. Torna Cuffey. Jacqueline Eaton. Mary Gilmore, summa cum laude. Renika Harmon. Rajanique Harmon. Royce Harris, summa cum laude. Jamie Hillenbrand. Lindsay Philpi. Lindsay Philpi. Jasmine Jones. Kara Kennedy. Esther Lindo. Savannah Linton. Asia Mitchell. Casey Olson, cum laude. Bailey Rawls, summa cum laude. Ariel Reyes. Courtney Rivera. Samuel Rogers. Julia Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Sarah Tannenholtz. Patricia Wiggins. Tia Williams. Naquisha Witherspoon. Felicia Atkinson, Associate's Degree in Medical Assisting. Joy Craft. Joe Kroom, Magna Cum Laude. Misha Darden. Andrea Doherty. Karen Ednall, cum laude. Elizabeth Frawley. 
Saran Gist. Sharon Kingsbury. Michelle Melendez. <laughs> Angel Moore. Altonelle Parker. Shauna Riley. Susie Rodriguez. Ashlyn Shed, cum laude. Regina Vale. Marquita White. Diploma in Medical Assisting, Liam A. Algonaldo. <laughs> Crystal Borchardt. Danielle Gomez. Misha Green. Hey. Shaitavia Hall. Wendy Hodges, cum laude. Alexis Holland. Taylor Martin, cum laude. Madison Smith. Bijan Stevenson. Corey Wheeler. Natalie Wilson. Kia Wimberly. Miranda Wachowski. Associate's degree in registered nursing, Jennifer Alamar. Mary Barber. Jennifer Buckley, magna cum laude. Boaz Butcher. Sabrina Carson. Brianna Chestnut Speller. Mark P. Clemente. Latrice Collins. Marche Dixon. Jordan Duquette. Levi Elliott. Lashonda Francois. Thank you. Mary Finlay. Courtney Hayes. Kimberly Knox. Ariel Martin. Area. Jennifer McLee. Nyresha McGee. Natasha Miranda. Mary Myrick. Devin Neal. Alexandria Pandino. Melinda Robinson. Morgan Schwartzer. Kimberler Janae Smith. Tanel Smith. Samantha Elizabeth Stuckley. Stuckey, excuse me. Sheila Urbanski. Urbanski, excuse me. Jamelia, Jamelia Wharton. Healthcare Administration, Bachelor's Degree in Acute Care. Erica Ballard, summa cum laude. Emily Johnson. Jessica Joyner. Trevor Marks. Brian Ortiz. Natalie Ortiz. Pamela Patricio, magna cum laude. Ashley Probst, summa cum laude. Precious Scott. Demario Stackhouse. Anna Marie Walton, cum laude. Lindsay Wiggins. Healthcare Administration, Bachelor's Degree in Long-Term Care, Anthony Bonowitz, summa cum laude. Yes, sir. Healthcare Administration, Bachelor's Degree in Long-Term Care, Darrell Butler. Brittany Kalayunin. 
Samaria Crowder, Maddie Cum Laude. Adult Care and Long-Term Care, Ebony Dennis, Summa Cum Laude. Jenny Doe, Summa Cum Laude. Nakia Goodwin. Anthony Olson. Aaron Peterson. Adult Care and Long-Term Care, Marianne Tamora. Cum laude. Diploma in Practical Nursing, Jasmine Acosta. Thank you. Stephanie Adderley. Irvanda Baker. Angel Barnes. Adrian Bradley. Taylor Bonnero, Bonner, no, excuse me. Brona, excuse me. Jasmine Brown. Ose Brown. Taffany Caldwell. Satia Carter. Miriam Cobia. <laughs> Tiffany Cox. <laughs> Janae Cradle. <laughs> Elena Davis. <laughs> Chrysia Diaz. <laughs> Chantel Durrell. Tamika Edmond. Shaniqua Bell. Megan Estampador. Deborah Fisher. Denise Great. Lonique Hagen. Felicia Hall. Elena Hennessy. Tamika Holloman. Laquasia Hughes. Shantiqua Jones. Tara Liggins. Imari Lopez. Stacy Massey. Hannah McCann. Janelle McIntosh. Gabrielle Miller. Nicole Miller. Tanya Music. Beverly McCorkle. McCorkle, excuse me. Aureli Ingodadquan. Denise Riddick. Sinque Roebuck. Emma Santiago, summa cum laude. Sean Kish Savage. Deidre Scott. Ebony Sims. Zakiel Thomas. Alicia Toole. Almost. Melissa Travitz. Terry Twyman. Shanika Williams. Kia, or Ky Kyra, excuse me, Kyra Windley.
There's, uh, there's one more degree that we are going to bestow to tonight. The Board of Trustees of ECPI University uh, would like to award the Doctor of the University to Alfred Dreyfus. And he's here tonight, but we're not going to make him come up. So thank you. Okay. Please bow your heads. It is with the spirit of hope and promise that each of these graduates will set out to discover their future. Help them to remember that whatever's worth doing is worth doing well and that wisdom is a treasure cultivated from experience and enhanced through lifelong learning. We pray that each graduate is blessed with a life full of happiness and prosperity and ask you to bless all who are assembled here tonight. Amen. Amen. Right. Will the graduates please rise? Now please move your tassels to the right to signify passage to industry. Turn and face the audience. Parents, family, friends, your ECPI University graduates of 2018. <laughs>